So we pull in that pedagogy when we do this course. Um, we want there to be more learning from more students in the world at large, and that comes from combining universal design for learning, um, how to think about not one size fits all and not adding on changes because students come in, but to always teach from the beginning for all the students in your class the way they learn and what they bring with them. So in this seminar, we'll be looking at the what of learning. We'll think about how we present information and content in multiple ways and have we rich multiple access to content. Um, we'll be thinking about the how of learning. How do you design courses and activities and assignments so that there are multiple routes for participation and multiple ways to measure student learning. And we'll talk a lot and write a lot and uh, publish for the world to see our thinking about the why of learning. Why do we do this? How do we stimulate interest? How do we motivate learners? How do we motivate change? By teaching not just about our content, but about learning, about how the world works, and about being able to grow your thinking, that um, intelligence isn't a fixed thing, but it comes from working together. Um, in order to do that, Alex and I have mapped out a couple of things that we really want people to be thinking about in entering this seminar, um, that there might be a pedagogical network. So from wherever you are geographically, culturally, or disciplinarily, and personally, that you'll come there to think about ways to teach and learn with other people. Um, so you'll discuss with peers in this network. We're thinking of this uh, seminar as a professional development opportunity so that you can create teaching materials in a peer learning community. Um, and this might include senior professors and it might include students who've never taught before in a higher ed setting. Um, and for those students who have never taught in a higher ed setting who want to get hired to do that, this might be an opportunity to earn a teaching credential um, as we have some criteria that you would need to meet in order to get the graduate credit and we can turn that into a badge saying that you have indeed met the criteria. Mm -hmm.